you know Luka's a very ball dominant player, almost a ball hog in a sense. But if you want to play with a player like this and be able to thrive, you got to be able to do little things like this, whether you're a big or a guard, right? Which is always being ready, keeping yourself available to where he needs a bailout, he needs something because he messed up or he just don't got anything. You need to be ready to be able to get the ball because you may have an opportunity yourself. And now, boom, you get yourself two points. When you think of Luka, understand, he gets a lot of fouls, right? That's a part of his game as well, along with making a lot of the passes, taking a lot of shots. He gets fouls. And so if you're Kyrie or someone playing alongside him, you could also take advantage of the fact that he does draw fouls because what he's doing by being so ball dominant is also getting you closer to the bonus, right? And so when you're closer to the bonus, you're now putting more pressure on the defense to guard cleanly and not guard and foul and send you to the free throw line. And so that's a way Kyrie could be able to maximize playing with Luka. You've seen those first few plays where Luka was the aggressor, especially to start the first quarter. And now it's Kyrie's turn. And understand, Kyrie is skilled as player. You question, could he play with Luka with them being so ball dominant? Yes, he can because he's efficiency, especially in opportunities like this. He gets Garland, right? Face up in the mid range. What does he do? Just jab. You see the space he created? Something so subtle. Y'all really got to understand how powerful a jab is for a player at any position. Because all it did for Kyrie in this situation is that you see Garland's left foot being right here at that top of that seat, drops it back behind halfway through that seat. And that's a foot of separation from that front foot. And even though you see that right, that left hand out, he can't extend that hand as far out as if that left foot was forward, like where it was before. And so now Kyrie shoots. He's already got his pockets. Boom, bucket. This is the key when it comes down to being a ball dominant player. Luka points to Kyrie. Kyrie hit that last one, right? Maybe 30 seconds or so ago. And now he's getting this one down here. And now they're literally taking turns. Understand. Now Kyrie's getting into his. He may get left. Sees the opportunity that he has. Make or miss. Regardless, he's getting his feel for the game. Now you've seen Kyrie's aggression, middle of the first quarter, begin to get higher, right? He took those two attempts. It's about 646 now, Luka in transition, and now Kyrie running his lane, and what does Luka now do? Being the ball dominant, ball hog, someone like to call him, seek Kyrie Irving in that corner for this shot. Kyrie at this point in time, right, head is up. He's not looking at his defender, his head would be like this. He's looking at Mobley, and now look what Mobley's about to do, right? Notice hops out that paint now once he hops out that paint Kyrie now has the screen timed up cross tween i'm attacking to his baseline but now mobley is getting back into the paint and so what does this tell Kyrie? i can't get to the rim i must get to my float because i can't finish at the rim that's a big man down there you got to understand what a player is seeing so you know why they do what they do floor understand too that's when luke was off the floor right that's when Luke was off the floor. When he's, Kyrie's playing with that second unit, his aggression also goes up. He's seeking more plays, has a better feel for the ball on the fact that Luka isn't there. So every time down the floor, he's getting a touch. Coming into the second half, start of the third, Kyrie's going to be the one to be the aggressor to start. And so that balance between the two is vital. And so when it comes down to Kyrie, right, this is the most underrated part of Kyrie's game, right? is not Kyrie's ability to get here, boom, fade, and be able to hit down, hit these tough shots, right? Understand the layer behind that. It's his ability to be able to control his body when he takes a step that's pointed to half court, while his body is also pointed that way in ability to turn and fade and stay controlled. It's his body control that y'all gotta pick up before you even think about how to make the shot because you can't make the shot if you don't have the body control. And so at this point in time, he's getting to this attack with Darius Garland. And notice where he's going to lead the ball. He goes from that right wing all the way down over here to where y'all see is another help defender. But why would he go somewhere where there's, where there's help? It's because this help defender is guarding Luka Doncic. And so in reality, he's just a cone. He's not going to do anything. You know what I'm saying? So now Kyrie could be able to get this angle going right and get exactly into this pull up. And I'll get into that shot that he exactly wanted because Luka's gravity right? Utilizing the gravity of the player that you're trying to coexist exist with will allow you to be even better. Jared Allen's guarding Kyrie from the right side. Right hand up as a contest. 
that's not no contest because he's forcing Kyrie right, taking away his left side. And now by doing that with that right hand up, what Kyrie now has opportunity to do is bring that ball to his right side away from the contest because now Jerry Allen's going to have to cross contest. And that's a further distance to reach Kyrie's shot pocket. And now he just shoots that shit over the top. Boom. Bucket. Right. We saw Kyrie be the aggressor to start the third quarter. Now fourth quarter, start of the fourth. They're both in. Now understand how Luka's going to be the aggressor. He gets off this screen, pulls Mobley out, picks up the dribble, but he's going to get it right back. And now Kyrie is just sitting there chilling. He finished off the third. He got his looks. He cool. So now Luka has to build up his rhythm. Attacks the paint on Evan Mobley, gets all the way down, forces four defenders to get into rotation, kicks out to Josh Green for the shot at the top of the key. He does brick it, though. But most importantly, you got to understand this next possession down, right? Now, Luka, same thing. Attacking Mobley this time, I'm not going to pass. And what am I actually going to do this time? I'm going to do exactly what I've done the entire time, especially in the first half when attacking Evan Mobley. What I'm going to do is take him right, then change direction and get back left. I'm not going to use a step back now, but I'm going to get into this paint and really put pressure on him to make a decision and be hesitant because I utilize these pump fakes. And as I do so, I cover more ground. Boom. I get that lay. In this fourth quarter, I want you to understand how Kyrie and Luka just going about to take turns and take over until nearly, nearly the end. You saw Luka with those first two possessions, then he had the Tim Hardaway play, and now he has Garland. Luka, he's just chilling in the corner, letting Kyrie do his thing. And so now Kyrie, boom, he's just able to get to his spots, get to exactly what he wants with Garland on him. He does miss it, but still understand how they're going to continue to almost take turns because now Luka got the rock, and they're both in the action at this point. Kyrie ain't hit that last one that he had, so now we're just going to use each other for gravity and see whoever could get the best out of this. And so what Luka does is utilize the gravity of Kyrie on the screen with Okoro jumping out. And so jumping out, boom, he has the right side. Luka now gets to the stop, mid-range pull-up from that elbow, bucket. Really about to start flowing. Now next time down, Kyrie, boom, getting down quick. Luka just hanging back, might just be chilling, a little tired, might be. So what, Luke, what does Kyrie now have? Boom, roll, pulls Mobley over. Boom, lob over the top to Lively. With Kyrie having to pass last position, not really getting the bucket, now it's at another position to where either one of them could be the aggressor and be the one to get the touch. Ball gets thrown to Lively in the middle. Kyrie has a choice to go for a handoff or just to let it be. And now he goes for the back door. So now Luka gets it. And now this attack... It's not like Kyrie could say, oh, he's taking too much, he's doing too much, he keep the ball for himself. No, Kyrie decided to get into that back door and give it back to Luka, right? He didn't like the opportunity in the field that he had on that play. And so now, Luka ends up getting here, getting to this left. Boom, Mobley's leaving. Okoro has now broken his base, and understand this too. Boom, contact step back. It's a little different. We've seen him hit Mobley with the speed step back when he was doing those layers. Now, boom, nudge, contact step back different ways to be able to create space Luka gets that bucket look at Donovan Mitchell's defense right he's solid damn near got Tim Hardaway Jr. trapped boom gets her to a stop picks the ball up clapping his hands he excited right but all it takes for that to go in the garbage is just this one thing y'all never work on which is a good jab a good jab will be the one thing that y'all could always use to be able to get your bucket but you need to work on it first you need to work on the jab Kyrie just had the bomb, right? He made that three from the side, and Luka also made that step back from the left side. And so at this point in time, they really both are ready to go knock down a shot. But at this point, Luka turns his head, sees Kyrie. He says no. That's crazy, right? But this is where you just really got to must make this shot. Because you looked off Kyrie with no defender in transition, and he would have faced a closeout. You got to hit this. And guess what? Luka, he hit that. So now, boom, shot. But guess what? miss so guess what time it is right it's time to trade it's time to trade let's let, let let's let Kyrie do what he wants to do now so he ends up getting this touch now this time and so all right I could get into this handoff or I could just do this right here see Garland jump out boom back door now I'm just getting straight to my lays let's trade buckets let's trade touches what happened last time Kyrie got the bucket he got the lay so now he's gonna be the aggressor going forward this time boom pull up from deep Pull up from deep. He just playing off field. Guess what? Boom. Bucket. Right? They taking turns, bro.
really crazy. And so Kyrie hit his last two, right? And now guess what? I'ma still keep it. I'ma still keep going. And now he's got Karis Levert gets his attack going baseline, right? Tries to work around, gets blocked. And once again, guess what's about to happen, bro? They down one man in transition. Now Max Struess circles back. Boom, another hit. 